G'day mate, welcome back to Dyson Sphere with me, Jitty. And you might have caught me in um, preparation, preparing for today's episode. Just, just finishing off a few final touches. Uh, that being one of them. Uh, excellent. We just got another 2.4 gigajoules added to uh, Icarus's power store, which means he now holds twice as much power, which means in the future when we need to walk places, we should now be able to walk twice as far, and none of these worked. Um, none of these worked. We did really good. Alright, let's try that again. Uh, so, today's episode. Today's episode, we're going to need a little bit more power. So, we're back on the homeworld. Uh, just just tweaking things. Just, just adding a little bit more power to our southern pole. Come on, why not? Uh, just, just, just a tiny bit. Uh, we're milking that gas giant for everything it's worth. Uh, we're now burning off copious amounts of hydrogen on two planets. Uh, yep, they're all working. They're all happy. Excellent. Uh, so, yesterday's episode. Yesterday's episode, we, we, I took a little bit of advice. Just, just a tiny bit of advice. A tiny bit of advice from, from a great man who, who specialized in advertising. And... He told me all about the fine art of skywriting. So, uh, in yesterday's episode, we went and updated... Oh, where is the sun? Where is the sun? Updated, updated our, our Dyson ring to something a little bit more... Something has a little bit more panaz. Um, something a little bit more distinct. Uh, as you can see, Western Husen is still firing off rockets. Left, right, and center. He, he, it's, it's making a mess of it. It really is just... There are rockets everywhere. If there's no rockets, there's a spaceship. Um, and Western Husen is firing rockets as fast as he possibly can. Uh, if we come back in here and I actually grab one of these, we can remember that we needed about 11,000 rockets to complete our project. If I put one of these down, we can open it up and see that we've already done 6,500 rockets. Yeah, we're launching rockets that are insane. Incredible speed. The very incredible speed. Uh, if we actually look at our Dyson plan, our Dyson plan is, um, like I said, I took some advice from a skywriter, a, 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 a advertising guru who explained the details, the intricacies of skywriting and how powerful an advertising method it was. So, uh, with all that said, we've kept the message as simple and as short as possible. It is sub to JD. Just, just, that's it. That's it. Three words. Three words. Three words, six characters. That's it. It's everything. Done and dusted. Shortest message ever. But yes, uh, we are launching a lot of rockets. In fact, uh, what? 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 Uh, no, don't add orbit. God, cancel. Cancel. Show all orbits off. Click on that one. There's a random bit over here. Let's remove that. Um... In fact, the, yes, uh, we have launched an incredible amount of rockets, and as you can see, our ring that we deleted, which turned into a whole bunch of solar sails, is almost completely depleted. Um, there is very, very few sails left that uh, need to be turned into blue and absorbed into our Dyson structure. Uh, after that's done, we'll start pulling off some sails from the internal rings, but as you can see, that's not nearly as bright as it used to be. We have lost a lot of sails in decay. But that's fine. That's fine. Uh, we'll probably lose a lot more before the episode is out. In fact, production starts. Uh, Dyson Sphere. We're adding 800 to the, to the structure. We're losing 1,000 per minute. So there's, there's a lot of sales decaying. Uh, so, plan number one. Uh, finish that off. Today's plan for today's uh, episode is we've come back to the homeworld to do a few tweaks. There's a few things I want to finalize. As we can see, we're using about 600 megawatts. I've upped the power grid to 1.23 gigawatts. I was aiming for 1.21, but it just, I just, I went a little bit over. Okay, a little bit over. Uh, today's episode, we want to do a few things I've been putting off for a very, very long time. Okay, the base is going well. It's ticking over. It's doing the things. We have lines and lines and lines of production everywhere. But it's all running slower than it could be running. We could be making everything a little bit faster. Researching a little bit faster. Producing a little bit faster. So that's today's plan. Today's plan is to come in here, uh, grab a obscene amount of those, uh, a ridiculous amount of those, a significant number of, hang on, uh, those. Uh, is there anything else? Uh, 
Maybe some more belt. Sure, more belt. Uh, dump anything I don't need in my inventory, uh, like the assembly machines that I'm still holding on to. Uh, all the storage tanks, because I have been cleaning up as we go, and I have cleaned up a lot of old production lines. Uh, a lot of old production lines throughout the base. No, nope. uh, they power plants. Power plants can go in there. Uh, yeah, I, I have done a significant job of cleaning up as we go, but there's obviously always, always some more things that we could tidy up. So today's episode is a, a bit of a tidy up, along with a bit of I've been waiting to click on this button for a long time. Now I know blueprints are coming. I know blueprints are coming. Um, they should be here hopefully in like three or four weeks. The devs have said 30 days or less. We're going to hold them to it as best as we can. And um, yeah, in the meantime, I will blueprint this build as soon as I possibly can. I will share it with you guys as soon as I possibly can. I'm going to have to downgrade it to do so, but that's perfectly fine. Because today, I want to upgrade everything. Um, yeah, yeah. I also have been tidying up belts uh, as I've been... Oh, that one. Uh, I've been tidying up belts as we've been playing. I have uh, been decommissioning old builds as we've been playing. Like, you notice the iron build that was eating the last bit of iron on the world has now gone. Uh, which means the steel belt, which was a giant sky belt, is now less of a sky belt. In fact, a lot of the sky belts have gone. Um, I think glass is the last one left. So, yeah, there's there's been a lot of cleaning up. But today's episode... We're going to walk around with the lovely uh, upgrade planner and just like splatter the world in, in in faster production lines. Faster production lines for no other sake but to, you know, remove the old. Remove the old, replace it with the new. Uh, I am going to have the game beep at me occasionally because the only thing that I can't upgrade are the smelters. Um, smelters, I do not have the new smelter. I don't want the new smelter just yet. But everything else we're going to upgrade. Um, like, you know, things like uh, the... What are these called? Crystal silicon. Crystal silicon, uh, a long time ago we were producing it with smelters by taking... Uh, normal high purity silicon and re-smelting it into crystal silicon. Long time ago we went and get the, got the rare recipe for it. So I just made a little build right here. Just replaced the old with the new and we're now uh, bringing in rather than silicon to convert into uh, crystal silicon. We're just bringing in fractal silicon and we're converting that across to uh, crystal silicon. Uh, but yes, uh, like these builds can go faster. Uh, all of that can go faster. In fact, do you... Uh, nope, it looks like the nanotube belt is keeping up. Okay, well, if the nanotube belt's keeping up, I don't need to replace it. Uh, we, we just want to come through here and, like, replace and upgrade everything. Unfortunately, there's no such thing as a chemical plant Mark II. If there was, I would definitely build one. But, yeah, we, we're just going to get everything else I can think of and I can see. Uh, and at the same time, it gives us a chance to do a little bit of a tour. So, we have, starting back from the start, running through the labs... We have our main workshop, our main hub, our main everything, okay? This produces all the goodies that we're going to need to see us through the game, I hope. Uh, then we have a little build we put together very, very early on to make our particle containers. Particle containers were required for buildings, buildings. Uh, they're required for the planetary logistics, the interstellar logistics, uh, so they got tacked on right here. Technically, this build has been superseded and it can be de decommissioned. But I'll get around to that at a later stage. Uh, the next builds we have is going to be uh, Yellow Science. Yellow Science needs diamonds faster. Or do you need diamonds faster? You have no coal. This is one of the reasons why we're doing it this way. We're just stepping around and seeing all the little problems that we need to fix, which requires a splitter. And then that belt goes in there, that belt goes out there, that goes into there. And that should keep them running. We missed that belt. Cool. Cool. Uh, so. Where were we? Uh, yeah, Yellow Science. Yellow Science has been situated here. Uh, this is the requirements for Purple Science, which is built all the way over there. Uh, one of the main requirements are the Particle Broadband. That little build is right here, fed off its own carbon nanotubes. Not the upgraded carbon nanotubes, the old-fashioned carbon nanotubes. It's okay for now. I have a feeling that, um... Hmm. I have a feeling I'm going to actually do it right now. 
I don't need those going in anymore. We're going to bring them out as a supplementary line to what we're producing. Yes, because I want to I, I want to remove the carbon nanotubes from, from this building. I'd much prefer to be out of them, and that way means we can decommission this old build. Uh, we have a small build right here uh, that is making uh, graphene. Graphene from fire ice. Um, as you can see, everything is running perfectly fine with it. What is that belt? That belt's the actual graphene itself. Uh, over here we have... Titanium alloy, which I'm trying to get rid of. Uh, plastic, which we're also trying to get rid of. Uh, plastic is waiting to bleed out those few small fluid tanks. Slowly, slowly, over time. Uh, do you not work? You do work. Oh, that's just an erroneous belt for the fun of it. Okay, let's see. We're, we're learning as we go. We're learning as we go. Uh, the next major build that we've produced along the way is over here. It was our green science. Our green science was a major upgrade. It required... All of these things right here. Um, everything from here, through here, through here, through here. Uh, so we had... Um, oh, what are they called? I hate having to refer to this. Uh, Microcrystalline crystalline components, aka transistors. Transistors and circuit boards went into processors. I missed a building. Uh, processors came down and they go into quantum chips over here. Uh, this build right here. At the same time, we needed to make a uh, titanium glass with some titanium crystals. Uh, combine those two together into... No, combine the titanium crystals with the cashmere crystals uh, and some graphene from the fire ice build right here, which as far as I know has already been upgraded, but now we've confirmed it. Um, Combine those together along with the titanium glass from previously to get plane filters. Plane filters pop out and they come over. Oh, well, there's more plane filters and they are the other component to make uh, the quantum chips. So that is one half of green science done. Uh, have I got everything? I think I've got everything. Okay, uh, the other half of green science requires the graviton lens. Graviton lens. Oh, you're broke. We'll come back to you in a second. Um, Graviton Lens requires uh, particle containers down here, uh, which particle containers require the graphene from the fire ice. They also require uh, green motors. Green motors, of course, require normal motors, which requires iron, 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 iron with a touch of copper. Uh, finally, after we have our particle containers, they come up here. They're mixed with deuterium and iron, iron, deuterium and iron to give us a strange matter. Strange matter pops out here. Strange matter uh, slammed into a diamond will give us a graviton lens. Now diamonds are actually broken because we are no longer doing that. We are now doing that recipe, uh, remote demand, uh, which is another rare resource. We can swap this over to the new recipe. Um, and I should probably, oh, should probably go through the difference. The difference between the two recipes are... Uh, energy graphene requires coal that's been smelted into... Uh, en into energy graphene, which is then re-smelted straight into diamond. Our other option is we can use one... Uh, kimberlite ore and get two diamonds out for one and a half seconds. So it's just a more efficient process and technically it's the only place... Um, Kimberlite all can go to. So we're just going to request in 10,000. Nice and quick and seeable. Uh, that'll pop out there. That'll give us the uh, graviton lenses, which we're not really doing anything with apart from shoving it into science. Uh, so with all that done, that's all that build upgraded. This is also the main spot where we're going to build, be building forever uh, warpers. We're going to have warpers coming out uh, for days from this spot. And then from there, we went into sub-productions. Sub-productions, where we were just, like, mass-producing all the things that we could think of. Um, and just whacking them in a tower, and then letting the robots uh, work out the logistics for us. Just simplifying our life. Um, so up here, we have gears along with magnetic rings. Now, every one of these builds was always designed to use a Mark III assembler on Mark III belts. But we didn't have the power requirements. You remember how we started the episode at 600 megawatts? 
we're up to 850 already and we're not even anywhere close to finishing. Um, then we have another magnetic ring build uh, because it turns out you need a lot of those. Uh, over here we have another magnetic ring build because we need a lot of those. Uh, over here we had circuits, um, good old circuit boards. Circuit boards which also get turned into those micro crystalline, crystalline components that we spoke about previously. Uh, who then wrap back around, come all the way back down here, and have our own dedicated processor build. This is one of two, because it turns out processors are something we use a fair bit of. Uh, again, they just all go into the tower. The, the robots work out logistics for us. Uh, we're just, you know, we, we just facilitate the mass automation. Uh, all these are set up to, mm, when I remember to, uh, keep things within the local planet. We do not want any of it, the things that we're making on this planet to be shipped out to other planets. Um, we want other planets to be self-sufficient, so to speak. Uh, this one over here is making good old green motors. Now, it turns out the standard motors that are required to make green motors, which require iron, 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 with a touch of iron, it turns out if you put all the iron requirements, hang on, let's sort that, if you put all the iron requirements into separate towers, then they need significantly less iron, um, nope, nope, we're out, we're out, okay, we only made it a quarter of the way, a third of the way through our, our planned build for today, uh, I need to go back and empty my inventory and pick up some new supplies, uh, which is here, okay, so, uh, yellow belt, green belt, uh, yellow sorters, Green sorters, uh, tier three assemblers, all of them. Tier one assemblers, all of them. Uh, three random T three assembler, T T two assemblers, uh, and then we should be good to go back to our job, which was talking through uh, motors. Motors require a whole lot less iron if you pull out all the different subcomponents and do them in separate towers. So. With our motors done, we then need to make green motors. Green motors, the uh, electromagnetic turbines. They were awesome. Uh, from there, they come out, and they actually get split into two different builds. Uh, the first one being down here, which are the super magnetic rings, which are really, really expensive, really hard to build, but, you know, it turns out if you just run everything through towers, they're way easier to manufacture. Um, we're mass-producing those. I say mass producing, I, I have no idea how much we're actually producing per second, but I do know that we just upgraded the assemblers from running at a production speed of uh, 0.75 per second to 1.5 per second, so we just doubled whatever we were doing before. Uh, which also, the other place the, uh, tur the, the electromagnetic turbines go, the green things, is into these uh, particle tech containers. That's their particle containers, which is a whole separate build, uh, basically producing more things which we're going to get to shortly, because the other build I want to go through is processors. Processors, uh, turns out we're using a lot of processors. So, I uh, supply. Uh, I'm just checking these as we go, because obviously I didn't configure a lot of them, like that one, and like that one. Okay. Uh, yeah, processes. Uh, we went through a lot of them. We were actually running out. So, you know, this is a whole separate uh, dedicated processor build which uh, brings in the requirements, makes processes. Also, if processes are backed up, makes circuit boards. Not that we really need more circuit boards, but, you know, never, ever, ever, ever hurts to help. Uh, hurts to have them. Uh, that built can go away. And, yes, uh, which brings us back to where were we? Our particle containers. Particle containers. Particle containers go into this tower, and then from there, they are used in, I don't know, I can't remember. Uh, over here, we have our uh, frame material. Frame material has been one of the things that has been holding up our rockets. We can't make rockets nearly fast enough because for every rocket, we need six, party, uh, six frame material. Now, frame material was always designed to use a full belt of carbon nanotubes. The problem is, um, it's running at half speed because we didn't have the better assemblers because we couldn't, couldn't afford the power. The other good news is, with a quick fly across, they're now running at full speed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they are sandwiched back to our green science build, so our green science build is on our left. Uh, everything else, all our mass production is on our right, which then brought us on to rockets. Now, rockets require a couple of things. Uh, the first thing they require is solar cells, which is down here to our left. Uh, solar cells require uh, prisms, which is the top line. Uh, 
or they require a rare rare material which is in the bottom line so these ones are actually using uh, optical grading crystal optical grading crystal rare resource uh to make uh the plasma you know not plasma exciter photon combiner photon combiner um and the top build is of normal glass being the prisms ab above so we have one build using rare resources which is if we come over here and we land really quickly we can see that this belt passes straight through this one side loads so this belt of photon combiners is prioritized over the one that's using normal glass so we're burning through the rare resources faster the next thing we have is uh sales technically i think we're producing two belts of sales can't honestly remember we're, we're producing a lot of sales um so much in fact that i was more than happy to launch oh look they're all flying out now i was more than happy to launch sixty thousand of them into space you know they're gonna decay over time I, I really didn't care it was perfectly fine with me um yeah that's getting there fairly quickly oh, okay uh the next thing we need it was the dyson sphere components dyson sphere components which required uh those stupid frame material from earlier so the good news is now we've upgraded our frame material which it means it's running at twice the speed <clears throat> we actually have some frame material in the tower um but it also means that yeah i just upgraded those machines which means they're going to chew through it twice as fast uh thanks autosave the next thing from uh the dyson sphere component is the actual rocket itself now the rocket with sorry sorry about that um the rocket itself requires the dyson sphere uh, sphere component the deuterium fuel rods and the quantum chips now Dyson Sphere components are right here. They're part of this build. Uh, the quantum chips. The quantum chips are... They're all the way over here. So... Oh, sorry. Missed that one. Okay. Uh, all the way over here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Aha! Quantum chips. Now, quantum chips we've already built once, but let's go through the process a second time. Quantum chips require processes. You remember those earlier builds that were doing processes? Well, that's one of the reasons they're doing processes. Uh, the other thing it requires is the plane filter. The plane filters are right here. Um, we have a large uh, large plane filter build feeding those. Uh, the plane filters require two items. They require titanium, glass, which requires titanium and glass, and water. Uh, the other thing they, uh, the thing that titanium glass requires is going to be the titanium crystals. Uh, don't know why it needs more titanium, but it needs more titanium. We've, we've moved on. Uh, the other thing it requires is uh, cashmere crystals. Or the actual plane filters themselves. Now, cashmere crystals, horrible recipe. Horrible, horrible recipe. Uh, this bad boy here requires 12 hydrogen per second. Which means, after one, two, three, four, five, six and a half machines, it's used a whole belt's worth of hydrogen. So this thing eats hydrogen. Eats it. Uh, we're setting you to remote demand as well. Otherwise, there's no hope you're going to keep up. Uh, so yes, as you can see, uh, my little cashmere crystal build here has uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five belts of hydrogen, all capable of moving 30 items per second. And it'll use pretty much all of them. Um, it's a pretty stupid build. Uh, yeah, but it does produce the quantum processes at the end of the thing that we really, really want. Uh, last thing we're going to need to make our cashmere crystals is going to be uh, more graphene, which comes from this build here, which is making fire ice. Uh, turn that to supply. And that is the end of our big builds, really. No, no, we have two more. We have two more. We have, obviously, this giant um, elephant in the room that we're not going to talk about. Uh, this is the one that makes sphere... Annihilation constraint spheres. Uh, these are to make, basically, antimatter fuel rods. Uh, these lovely things here. They keep Icarus powering uh, for days. This is one of the reasons why I think we started the episode with... One of these was a quarter used. I've been flying the whole time. Haven't stopped flying. Not an issue. Not an issue anymore. Um, I'm not upgrading these because one, we overbuilt it to start with. Two, we're so close to topping out our power already. And we still have a couple more builds to do. One of the builds that we need to do is, you remember back to the rockets that required three components, the Dyson Sphere component right there. Uh, plus, they also required the uh, quantum chips, which we just looked at. The third thing they required is the Tyrion fuel rods, which are right here. So, that should have upgraded that completely. And we do have plenty in stock. Like, don't get me wrong. We're, we're not short here. But... 
again, we're also going to burn through a lot of deuterium. Um, yeah, I don't have a backup system for the deuterium, which is being converted from our hydrogen, which is being converted from, well, fuel, lots of fuel. Uh, can I do a better job of that? Uh, okay. You go in and you go out and have you prioritized that way. That's how we do it. Uh, yeah, this brings us back to our, uh, which should all be tier three already. Oh, oh, I saw some yellow power. I think we might have hit the end. Uh, hit, 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 hit the system. Okay, uh, this is our oil build. Our oil build is a giant build right down the middle of the planet. It's so big you can actually see it curve over the horizon. Uh, this is 60 refineries. 60 refineries processing 30 oil per second. Pumping it out here into some uh, tanks, which could fill up. But honestly, I've been burning the stuff off as fast as I can get it. Uh, the Really, the only thing we're using oil for now is making plastic. Technically, we're also using it to create deuterium, to create deuterium fuel rods, uh, because the other byproduct is hydrogen, and hydrogen we can convert it to into deuterium. But then again, I could very reasonably just import hydrogen from our gas giant, which we've been doing, you know, on the South Pole, running that power plant. Yeah. It, it's it's burning a significant amount of hydrogen and it doesn't mind it just keeps on going uh so that brings us to our last little bit of production uh which is our north pole our north pole has just a few assemblies just a few assemblies doing a few things uh, these are all super high-tech items you know like the miniature particle collider or the ray receiver or the em rail ejector are uh, the the little mini cannons we used for firing those sails into space uh, or the actual rocket silo itself which speaking of rocket silos uh one of them one of them uh we are now up to the we're done there are no rockets left yeah yeah uh, okay, cancel that. Uh, there are no more rockets left. Uh, okay, uh, we then have our miniature suns. Our miniature suns, a great little thing. Uh, they use antimatter, antimatter power to keep them running for days. Uh, then we have solar panels. Oh, solar panels right here. Because I needed someone to automate them and this was the laziest spot possible. Uh, the only other thing I think that we should probably automate maybe in the future is the mini fusion power plant. Unless we get our antimatter under situation, at which point I can make suns, at which point it just becomes a mute point. We'll just make suns instead. Um, that's really about it. That's Oh, 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 oh. Actually, there is one more, which is going to be, still buried in the tech tree, it is going to be our plain filter smelting technology which will give us the mark 2 smelter which i haven't touched we touched yet because it uses four times the amount of power for twice the crafting speed uh much similar to our assembly machines that we've put off into what episode 27 to finally start mass using because uh these guys use 270 kilowatts these guys use 1.808 uh, megawatts they use exactly four times the power for uh, 0.75 crafting speed up to 1.5. Yeah, yeah, um, um, twice the crafting speed. But with all that said and done, I have several thousand, it feels like, assemblers I can drop off. Uh, I still have a significant amount of tier 3s left over. Uh, we have no odd belts, no odd uh, sorters. Uh, actually, no, there's one lot of belts right there. And uh, now the whole planet runs at tier 3 speed. Which also means power is a significant factor now. Um, yeah, yeah. Now, there's still some more cleaning up I need to do between episodes. I need to just, just neaten things up. Um, where's a good example? Uh, well, you guys are a good example. We have coal and coal uh, being converted into diamonds, which we can now do with a simpler recipe. Uh, oh, well, we have things like this, which is... Uh, this was making our deuterium fuel rods. There's none left. Uh, that build has been build has been superseded so it can go away and you now have no power really no power pole. uh yes this old build has been superseded don't need it anymore uh it's good it's gone it's dusted uh look supply there we go uh yeah it, it's it's an old superseded build it can go away uh this one is making um 
Strange Manor, Strange Manor. It's also making Graviton lenses, which we should upgrade at the same time. It also, and this is important, it stores from Graviton lenses, being using the worst of the two recipe, uh, this one right here, it is making space warpers. Uh, it's making space warpers, which is putting into it our backup supply. This is our, oh my boy, uh, um, um, poop hit fan. Um, we need a backup plan because we ran out of warpers situation. Um, yes, this, this is what this tower is for. This is why it's close to the North Pole, so hopefully I can find it easily enough. And this is our 10,000 warper backup storage for when something went significantly wrong and we weren't planning for it situation. Um, but with all that said, this is where I'm going to leave today's episode. We upgraded everything. Uh, everything, everything, everything. Uh, yeah. Um... I'm pretty happy with myself. Uh, now, don't get me wrong, like I said, there's still lots of cleaning up to do. Like, you know, like I said, they need to actually go into a tower so they can be requested off site. Uh, we're still making bricks here and glass here, which need to also go off site. I have a tower here and a tower here. It seems a little bit redundant, so there's lots of doubling up of towers I need to do. Um, I've already been doing that over here. Yeah, not really. Um, I have been doing that here, there, and everywhere. Um, like, running a little bit longer belt, if needs be, but at least then I can put multiple products into one tower. Um, just, just to save the amount of towers we have sitting around doing nothing. They don't have any standby power, but I, I just prefer it if the planet was just a little bit more... A little bit neater. Can we turn off... Uh, that one. Yeah, I just prefer it if the planet had a little bit less stuff on it um we we, we we brought it down to you know the minimum amount of towers and the maximum amount of factories anyway with all that said this is where i'm going to leave today's episode as always thank you guys for watching i really really hope you've enjoyed this quick base tour and mass upgrade i will see you guys in the next episode where we're done with this system like apart from turning on the cannons again um and getting them to just knock off you know the last of the sails, uh, which, well, yeah, there's there's pretty much no sails left in orbit. Um, apart from filling out the rest of our our sign, um, we're we're done in this system, which means we can then go off and start really, really, really exploring the galaxy. Um, so yeah, with all that said, this is where I'm going to leave it, leave it for today's episode. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's episode. Alright, bye.